Welcome to this video of Tedra Kisaki Explained. In this video I will be talking about the character Tedra Kisaki. This video is going to contain manga spoilers from Tokyo Revengers. Kisaki Teda is the main antagonist of Tokyo Revengers. So far he has been the main antagonist of every arc in the story. He rose to the top of the Tokyo Manji gang by manipulating Mikey and organized the murder of Hinata Tachibana in multiple different futures. Kisuki is a man of average height, with gray eyes, and blonde hair. He also wears glasses and a golden red earring on his left ear. In his first appearance Kisuki is wearing a white button-up shirt and black pants with a black undershirt. As a member of the Tokyo Manji gang, Kisaki hair is cut and he wears the usual Tokyo Manji gang uniform. As a child, Kisaki used to have longer black hair and he would wear a gray suit with a red tie. Kisaki is a ruthless, cunning, and manipulative person who will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. Although Kisaki is not one of the strongest fighters in the Tokyo Revengers, his abnormally high intelligence and his ability to rule with fear allows him to force those who are stronger than him to obey. Kisuki's ambition is to become the most powerful and influential criminal in Tokyo. Kisuki will stop at nothing to reach this goal. And he is willing to kill anyone who gets in his way. Kisuki cares very little about both his subordinates and superiors. He sees both groups as tools for him to use for his plans. In fact he sees almost everyone around him as puppets for him to manipulate. He is selfishly willing to incriminate others or even make them sacrifice their lives in order for him to escape the law or further his plans. Kisuki has remarkable charisma, he is able to find many delinquents who are willing to serve under him. Although this is also because they fear him. He also is able to gain the trust of a few powerful and notable delinquents such as Hanma, Kazutora, and Asane. This allows him to further gain control over their underlings. Even as a child Kisaki was extremely intelligent, but he was also very timid and insecure. Because of this Kisaki was isolated and treated poorly by the kids in his school. His isolation, during childhood makes him develop an inferiority complex. This inferiority complex is most likely the reason why Kisuki only sees people as tools for him to use for his plans. Kisuki's number one drive and character motive is his obsessive love for Hinata Tachibana. Kisuki is obsessed with Hinata because she was the only person in his whole school that treated him kindly. One day Kisuki saw some bullies were picking on Hinata but instead of going to help her he just stood behind a corner and watched because he was too scared and lacked courage. While Kisuki was watching Hinata get bullied he saw Takamichi run to Hinata and save her from the bullies. When Kisuki saw the look on Hinata's face when she saw Takamichi saving her from the bullies he realized that Hinata was in love with Takamichi. Ever since the day Kisuki had developed such an intense hate for Takamichi that Kisuki would even kill Hinata just so Takamichi wouldn't be with her. In fact in every single future timeline that we saw Kisuki would kill Hinata every single time. In this panel showing the future timeline when Kisuki is an adult, Kisuki asks Hinata to marry him. And he proclaims his love for her. However Hinata always refuses because she is already in love with Takemichi. Because of Hinata refusing to marry Kisaki in every future timeline, that is the reason why Hinata is always dead in every future timeline that Takemichi tries to return to. Each time Takemichi stopped one of Kisaki's plans he became more and more impatient. According to Kisaki the total of his grand plan will take 10 years. He will gain Mikey's trust in the first year. And then he will continue to manipulate Mikey which will take two years. Then Kisaki will dominate Tokyo with Mikey's help which will take three years. And then finally taking over Japan with Mikey will take four years. Kisaki wanted to control Mikey like a puppet and rule the underworld. This concludes his 10 year plan of becoming Japan's number one delinquent. In the very first original timeline where Takamichi was pushed in front of a train and then got the power of time leaping. 
In that very first original timeline Kisaki actually became Japan's number one delinquent along with Mikey. This proves that his plans were perfect. And not just the first original timelines but there were other future timelines where Kisaki became the number one delinquent. Because of Kisaki's extremely high intelligence Takamichi actually thought that Kisaki was a time leaper. But later it was confirmed that Kisaki is not a time leaper and he is just extremely intelligent and is a master of making the perfect plans. Kisaki is so intelligent and brilliant that he was able to figure out that Takamichi is a time leaper. Kisaki knew his plans were so perfect that the only way Takamichi could stop them was that he had to be a time leaper. Kisaki would eventually meet his death at the end of the Tenjuku arc. While running away from Takamichi, Kisaki was hit by a truck while crossing the street. After Kisaki is hit by the truck he is laying on the floor trying to move his mangled limbs. But Kisaki says that he cannot move and he doesn't want to die. However Kisaki could not escape his fate. That is how Kisaki died, it was a very unexpected death that came out of nowhere. It wasn't something Kisaki's plan could account for. And was out of his control. That is the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the character Kisaki. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this one, like, comment and subscribe to my channel.